his right mind would bring one, much less two, drunks into their home. You know, you got to expect tragedy. You know, there's going to be something come bad out of this. Crazy how beer, like I grew up on six packs and eight packs. Eight packs with eight ounces, nips. You got a case of nips or a case of beer. Through 25, 30 years of doing cocaine. <laughs> you got to be well grounded. Thank God, I do copy you. I get on. I get up in the morning. I do some shit. I do two bangets, and, and I got on a mountain bike. I, I mean, I've drank on an abuse when it's been like two days since I'd had the pill. Holy you have shit! No idea how scary that shit is. Next thing you know, I was making a steak sandwich at four in the morning. What the fuck was in that thing? Because immediately you start throwing up, and you start pissing and shit in your pants. It happens that quick. And then you have to start with the sweats and all this, and you'll wind up on the floor doing the heebie-jeebies, man. Hey, listen. Take the pill. That's what it numbed me from. It's a shame. And then there was a chick in our high school that just liked the older guys. And I remember we were in summer school, and we were standing outside, and this chick was fucking hammered. Shitting and puking. And it was... Brutal. She was a freak. But man, he was there, man. Because we know you're not going to take that pill. I can't even fucking say that, but because I'll get in trouble. We got all these things thrown in there, and I was hating myself because I didn't protect my sister better. She had to be 16, 15, my age, sophomore summer. And I can't put it down. I can't turn away from it because there's hope in that. Hey. What's the hope for? No more pain. I had the same guilt, bro. I could not believe it. After that, I went straight. That's the hell. You know, I was doing the, doing, you know, doing the coke and stuff, man. I'm hating myself the whole time I do it. I'm not getting high anymore. And that shit screws your head up for life. I didn't even know how to make out with a girl. We made out together, and that was it. I stuffed it away. I didn't talk about that. Are you kidding me? He says, you're so fucking lucky, man. You're, your stepmother's so fucking hot. She was hot. She's 22 years old. It doesn't take a fucking genius. Of course she was hot. But it wasn't hot to me because that's my mom. No. Not one fucking complaint. No, we're not happy. We're not enjoying getting high. I quit enjoying getting high 30 years ago. Cold-blooded. I couldn't live without it. I mean, I would feel like my heart was gonna burst. I couldn't breathe. I was scared to go anywhere. I'll cut you a deal. For every load you take of theirs, you take one of mine in. That guy's got an eight ball, watch this. <laughs> Done. And then when you look at the fucking weed thing, from the narco's perspective. It was, it, you, you don't know the amounts of weed they were bringing in. You put yourself in such a dark hole, there is no light. This is my life. I've been paying dues, just like you. I don't want to do movies. None at all. And it takes somebody that's special. You couldn't have sent me to rehab right then. It wouldn't have worked. Can't do that. I pay dues. I want a fucking nurse there, bitch. I couldn't do 24 hours not doing cocaine. I'm not mad at anybody. I can't really be mad at anybody because everybody got caught with their pants down. If you wanted me to get up out of bed, bring me some cocaine. How we've handled it at times. Because life was too ugly to want to go out there. What the fuck? What a fucking loser you are. You can't even die right. You're a piece of shit. I don't need you anymore. You could go. You fat fuck. Cold-blooded. You betcha. There's a time to say goodbye. You know how long a giant can fart? About 40 seconds. I'm farting! <laughs> anymore.